wisdom that books bring. From the timeless classics that have shaped generations to the contemporary bestsellers that are redefining our world, we cover it all here at Book Nook. We believe that every book has a story to tell, a lesson to teach, and a world to explore. And we're here to guide you through each one, chapter by chapter, page by page. Today, we dive into the empowering pages of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Before we delve into the book, let's get acquainted with its author, Stephen R. Covey. A man of great intellect and influence, Covey was a renowned educator, author, businessman, and keynote speaker. His area of expertise, leadership, and personal development. Born in the mid-20th century, Covey had a deep passion for understanding how people can live and work together more harmoniously. This passion drove him to earn an MBA from Harvard University, and later a doctorate from Brigham Young University. His contributions to the field of personal development are not limited to the seven habits of highly effective people. He's also the author of several other influential books, including First Things First, Principle-Centered Leadership, and The Eighth Habit, From Effectiveness to Greatness. Each of these works further explores the concepts of effectiveness in personal and professional life. Now that we know the author, it's time to explore his masterpiece. The first habit Covey presents is be proactive. Now, what does it mean to be proactive? It's all about taking charge of your life. This doesn't mean you can control everything that happens to you, but it does mean you can control how you react to what happens. Being proactive means recognizing that we are responsible for our own decisions. It's not about blaming others when things go wrong, but about facing challenges head on and creating solutions. It's about being the driver of your life rather than just a passenger. Imagine a boat in the ocean. If you're reactive, you'll let the waves and currents dictate where you go. But if you're proactive, you'll set a course and adjust your sails to reach your destination no matter the weather. Being proactive is about making things happen instead of waiting for them to happen to you. It's about taking the initiative, taking responsibility and taking action. Being proactive is the first step towards personal effectiveness. Covey's second habit is begin with the end in mind. This principle is all about having a clear vision of your destination. It's like planning a journey. You wouldn't start traveling without knowing where you want to end up, would you? The same applies to our lives. Having a clear vision and setting tangible goals can guide our actions, ensuring that every step we take is moving us closer to our desired outcome. It's about understanding what truly matters to us and then shaping our lives around those priorities. In our personal lives, this habit helps us align our actions with our values, ensuring we live authentically and with purpose. Professionally, it assists in strategic planning and decision-making, fostering a focus on long-term success rather than short-term gains. This habit is not about predicting the future, but rather about creating it. It's about taking charge of your life and steering it in the direction you want it to go. With a clear end goal, we can navigate life's challenges more effectively. The third habit Covey introduces is put first things first. Now, this is a critical step in our journey to becoming highly effective individuals. It revolves around the principle of prioritization and time management. It's not just about being busy, it's about being busy with the right things. Imagine your day as a jar filled with rocks, pebbles, and sand. The rocks represent your most important tasks, the ones that align with your values and goals. The pebbles are your secondary tasks and the sand, the small, less significant chores. If you fill your jar with sand first, there won't be enough room for the rocks. But if you put the rocks in first, the pebbles and sand will naturally find their place around them. This metaphor illustrates the essence of putting first things first. It's about identifying your rocks and making them your priority. This leads to increased efficiency and productivity as it eliminates the time spent on unimportant tasks. Prioritization helps us focus on what truly matters. The remaining habits from four to seven are about achieving a public victory. These habits take us beyond self-mastery and into the realm of successful interpersonal communication and relationships. Habit four, think win-win, encourages us to adopt a mindset where success is not achieved at the expense of others. Instead, it's about creating situations where everyone involved benefits in some way. It's about fostering cooperation, not competition. Moving on to habit five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. This habit highlights the importance of empathetic listening. It's about truly understanding another person's perspective before seeking to have our own views recognized. This approach builds trust 
and opens the door to constructive dialogue. Next, we have habit six, synergize. This habit is all about teamwork and collaboration. It's about valuing and combining the strengths of others with our own to achieve goals that may not be attainable individually. The whole in this context is truly greater than the sum of its parts. Finally, habit seven, sharpen the saw, reminds us of the need for continuous learning and personal growth. It's about taking care of our physical, mental, and spiritual health so that we can effectively manage the challenges of life. It's about keeping our tools sharp so we can continue to perform at our best. Each of these habits, when practiced consistently, can help to enhance our relationships and overall well-being. They enable us to effectively navigate our interactions with others, fostering mutual respect and understanding. They also remind us that we are part of a larger community and that our actions can have a significant impact on those around us. In essence, habits four to seven guide us to not just be effective in our personal lives, but also to be able to create a positive impact in our public interactions. They teach us that true effectiveness is about more than just personal success. It's about contributing to the success of others as well. These habits guide us to create a positive impact on the world around us. That was a quick journey through Stephen Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. As we journeyed through Covey's masterpiece, we started by exploring the concept of proactivity. Remember, being proactive is not about reacting to circumstances, but about taking the initiative and responsibility for our lives. It's about recognizing that our actions, and not our conditions, determine our outcomes. Next, we ventured into the realm of foresight with the second habit, begin with the end in mind. This habit taught us the importance of having a clear vision or goal for our lives. Without a destination in mind, we are simply drifting aimlessly. Then we delved into the concept of prioritization with put first things first. This habit is a reminder to focus on what truly matters and not get lost in the sea of urgency and busyness. It's about organizing and executing around our most important priorities. Our journey then led us to the final four habits, which Covey collectively refers to as the public victory. These habits, think win-win, seek first to understand, then to be understood, synergize, and sharpen the saw, are about improving our interpersonal communications, fostering teamwork, and maintaining our overall wellness, respectively. These seven habits, when practiced consistently, can help us become more effective in our personal and professional lives. They teach us to take control of our actions, to have a clear vision, to prioritize, and to seek mutual benefits in our interactions with others. However, it's crucial to remember that these habits are not magic bullets. They require time and effort to develop, and they are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Each one of us may need to adapt and apply them differently, depending on our unique circumstances and goals. Remember, these habits are not a quick fix, but a guide for lifelong growth and effectiveness. Happy reading! We hope you found this video insightful and inspiring. We've only scratched the surface of the treasure trove of wisdom that the seven habits of highly effective people has to offer. There's so much more to learn, to explore, and to implement. So we encourage you to read the book, dive into its depths, engage with the material, reflect on its insights, apply its principles, experience its transformational power. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it valuable. Share it with friends, family, colleagues, anyone you think could benefit from these powerful habits. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Join our BookNook community. We're constantly curating and summarizing the best books out there, bringing you the key takeaways, the essential insights, the nuggets of wisdom, Thank you for tuning in. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep turning those pages. Until next time, this is Book Nook, signing off.